How much did you hear? Every word, Discord growled between his teeth. You were eavesdropping? He ignored her question and turned away. You never intended on falling in love with me, did you? This was just a business deal to you. But it was, but wasn't it a deal? To me it wasn't. The look he was giving her made her stutter in terror. But you wouldn't expect someone else like me to have feelings now, would you? Would you? Discord, I never said that. You're right. I'm just an evil monster who's kept you prisoner. You're not a monster. I thought you were different. I thought you understood. Discord, I do understand. Yet you never try to want to marry me like all you thought about was your friends. He said it as if he was, if it were his poison. She scowled. I had no choice. You were going to kill the princesses. The Draconic Quest was taken aback. Kill? Kill? You really thought I was going to kill the princesses? Including the one who is pregnant? But you said... You said... I exaggerated a bit. But you actually thought I would do such a thing? Fluttershy's lips quivered. I I'm sorry. He turned away. You don't have to say it. He felt betrayed. The one only friend he ever had. He thought that was different. Just like he was all the rest. Fluttershy felt devastated. His words stung her like it had towards him, and she had to make amends, but what could she do? Unlike Discord, she could not make things better with the wave of her hand or hoof. In case if it was, she did not know where to start. Discord, if you would just listen to me, I should have known that you would never care for me, he growled. You were just stalling, weren't you? Praying that your friends would come and rescue you, weren't you? Is that why you wanted them here? Discord, please! The things I said, I didn't mean any of it. So you don't feel like a prisoner? Well, I... So you do want to marry me tomorrow? Well, actually, so you didn't just agree to so you could see your friends? I, I... So you do love me? She hung her head in shame. I, I don't care for you, but, but... You don't love me. A tear fell down her cheek. No. He stepped towards the bed and his arms crossed. No. How could you? I am the one being the bad Draconoquest who forced you into marriage. Discord... I didn't. My friends, I can't believe it. After everything I've done for you, you still pick them over me. Well, my dear, you were right about one thing. Fluttershy gasped as magically lifted into the air by the ring, bring her face, them face to face. You'd have no say in the matter. Love me or not, you will be mine. For the first time in weeks, she was truly afraid of him, but she tried to be brave. And I have no argument over that, but Discord, you have to understand that the things I said about those things is because I panicked. I, I was afraid of what my friends were thinking. I didn't know you were listening. You shouldn't have been listening. Still, it was no excuse for my insensitivity. She squealed as he dropped her the flounder and turned away. Why didn't she not love him? Why did she listen to those ponies? Those ponies had ruined everything. Wait, he fought. The gears were turning the brain. Those ponies. He chuckled darkly to himself. Oh, my poor naive Fluttershy. He kneeled down to pick her up. Forgive me for being so brash, my sweet. I don't blame you. Fluttershy blinked at him in confusion. Y you don't? No, you're not the one at fault here. You've just fallen the victim to the real monsters. Those nasty friends of yours. She then flew out of his arms in a huff. My friends aren't nasty. He cackled again, patting her head. Of course you'd say that. Naive as you are. Naive? No, oh, don't take it personally, my dear. You just fail to see the truth right in front of you. He ran his finger through under her chin. But don't worry, darling. We'll fix that. Something about his tone alarmed her. Her heart was racing as his face drew closer to her, her head f telling her to run. Now listen to me, my dear. I've made you happy, right? She nodded slowly. Yes, I've treated you well, have I not? You have. I have comforted you, gone out of my way and made you smile, and granted your every wish, yes? That's correct. And all that? Have I never hurt you intentionally? No, not really, but... You see, you know I'm not a monster. You are not a monster. She, yes, she quivered as he caressed her cheek. I'm the only real friend here. Those ponies out there, he tilted his head towards the door. They don't understand how happy we are, how happy we could be. Flesh, I was growing suspicious. What are you? She trailed off as he began stroking her mane, as usual. His tender touch shut down her senses, but something about his touch especially was memorizing. But all she thought about was how much she was enjoying it. Discord grinned mi mischievously, seeing that it was working, but he still had a long way to go. He laid his free hand over her shoulder. I want you, Fluttershy, he whispered. I want you to be with my side for all eternity. Not just because we made a deal. I don't want just any mare. I want you. She tried to say something, but all came out was, Huh? Why don't we stop playing games, my dear? 
I know deep down this is what you want. I what? She snapped out of her trance for a moment, but then sunk back into it when his claw ran down her spine. Picture it, my dear. You sitting on a gorgeous throne, majestic crown on your radiant head, and overlooking a world of chaos. Uh-uh, Fluttershy shook her head. A world of chaos? Oops, wrong thing to say. He quickly moved behind her, massaging her shoulders, memorizing her again. And she was never to manipulate late, and he started hated doing this, but he had to help her see the truth. A simple touch could not be enough. He saw the full temptation. He had to think of something to lure her in. Something that she would not be able to resist. Yes, he improvised. The world will be at your disposal, my sweet. All I could offer you is the one thing you've always desired. His eyes opened wide. Her eyes opened wide. Seeing that it had gone his attention, he turned her head to a gaze and looked. Love, he whispered. Fluttershy stared into his eyes, unable to wait. What? He nodded. I love you. You, you, you do? That's right, my dear. At the moment that his eyes transformed to hypnotic spirals, you don't need your friends. All we need is each other. We'll be together forever, for all eternity. Together forever, for all eternity, she repeated. Yes, he chuckled. So what do you say, my dear? Will you be my queen of chaos? Fluttershy showed no resistance and her eyes changed to match his. Yes, my love, she said minutely. Meanwhile, every pony from the aside from that Apple Sisters were sitting in the main hall, wondering of what to do. Rainbow Dash was the first one to break the silence. Fluttershy's been in there for an awfully long time. Should we see if she's alright? We should let her be, Twilight said. Maybe we're too harsh on her. I suppose we got a little carried away, Rarity amused. Applejack didn't look pretty upset too. Spike said, I'm going to check on her. I'm not sure if that's a good idea, Twilight warned. Look, I understand why Fluttershy's upset, but Applejack just blew us off for no reason. I've never seen her like this. Well, okay, go ahead. And I'm checking on Fluttershy, Rainbow Dash and hesitated. No pony and any objective was a dragon and the Pegasus went to the opposite directions. Rainbow Dash was about to knock on the door when he heard voices. It didn't take long to find out who they belonged to. What is this court doing in Fluttershy's room? She assumed the worst and stopped herself from breaking down the door. He said, opened it slightly and quietly peeked inside. Her jaw dropped up what she saw. The Draconoquist had his arms around Fluttershy. Both their eyes filled with spirals. There was no doubt what was happening. Now, Discord said, running his paw under her claw under her chin, you will go out there and tell those ponies to leave this place and never come back. Rainbow bust open the door, surprising Draconoquist. I knew it! Um, this isn't what it looks like. You, 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 you monster! She turned and charged at him, but Discord quickly was summoned a brick wall for her to slam into. What's going on in there? Twilight Sparkle said, appearing on the doorway. She gasped when she saw the blue Pegasus lying con unconscious under a pile of newly fallen bricks. Rainbow, what? Twilight, Fluttershy said, still under Discord's influence. I want you to leave this place and never come back. The Alicorn looked up in horror and seen the spirals on her friend's eyes. She growled at the Draconoquist. What did you do to her? I tossed some sense into her, he answered, stroking her fian his fiancé possessively. I simply explained how on you ponies have poisoned her mind with such pretty juice that she doesn't need any of these nasty friends like you. Is that right, my dear? Yes, my love, Flesh I uttered. You fiend, Twilight cried, stomping her hoof. I should have known this was all a trick. And you're in for it now. Discord laughed manically. Hey, what can you do for me, my dear? You don't have the elements of harmony with you. And even if you did, you need six elements to make the spell work. And I don't think my fiancé is willing to turn me into stone, are you, my dear? No, my love. I can't turn you into stone, Alicorn grunted, but that doesn't mean I could show you a world of pain. Her horn glowed and preparing to fire. Discord simply yawned and turned her horn into a candy cane. Oh, yes, he chuckled. Much funnier than taking it away. Rainbow dashed and slowly gained consciousness, lifting herself off. You, you jerk! I'm going to... I'm gonna... You're gonna what? Try and hit me again? She just says, tss, tss, dashy. Don't you know no hitting on each other's creatures is wrong? Some pony needs a timeout. The blue Pegasus cried out. She was thrown across the main hall with the stool in the corner, and a tall cone that labeled Dunce appeared on her head. Rarity, Pinkie Pie, Sweetie Belle, and Scootaloo gasped. Hey, the Pegasus filly cried out, facing Draconoquist. You can't do that to Rainbow Dash. She folded her hooves up. Put him up, you big bully. Yeah, Sweetie Belle shouted, copying her friend's gesture. Oh, you want to fight, huh? Discord said with a huge train of amusement. All right, fight. With a snap of his fingers, the two fillies found themselves in their wrestling wing. And Scootaloo was already with boxing gloves in the same color. And Sweetie Belle was blue and was also with gloves. Oh, Pinky shrieked. 
I love this game. She then raced to the corner of the ring and then put press the giant buttons, causing Scootaloo to punch Sweetie Belle in the face. Hey, they, the latter yelled. Sorry, I can't control it. Pinky! Rarity squealed in terror. She then jumped into the ring and then tried to tug to her sister out of the way, but she was stuck in one place. Oh yeah, the Draconic Quest cheered. This court is back, baby. Twilight made a charge for him, only to have her wings turn into paper. Quit it, she screamed, collapsing onto the floor. Applejack, Apple Bloom, and Spike heard the commotion, and they gasped as they entered the main hall. What in the... Applejack exclaimed, Discord? Why, hello there, Applejack, the Draconic Quest waved. Come in to join the party. He yelped as Apple Bloom had bit his leg. You leave my friends alone, she yelled through her teeth. Hey, get off, he commanded, flying her into the air and trying to shake her off. Why, you little... Dad just saying out an idea and snapped his fingers, causing Apple Bloom's kitty mark to disappear. Hey, I just got that, she cried. She realized it was too late in saying that. She had let go of Discord's leg. She then screamed and fell to the ground. Fluttershy, who had been flowing in the air on this side, heard his scream and shook out of her trance. Apple Bloom? She gasped and saw the filly plummeting her to the ground. Applejack raced to, raced to fetch her. Don't worry, Apple Bloom, I gotcha. She didn't have to. For Fluttershy, who flew into Nerano's speck and swept the filly into her arms before she, she hit the marble floor. Fluttershy, you're back! Apple Twilight exclaimed. What happened? The Pegasus asked as she set Apple Bloom down. She gazed at the surroundings, mortified. Apple Bloom was in a flat, blank flank, and Sweetie Belle and Scootaloo became giant versions of Rock Them, Sock Them, Pum Them ponies. Rainbow was glued into a stool in the corner, and Twilight looked like a nightmare Nightwing costume. Fluttershy then turned to Discord. She was shocked of when she would wake. What? She stammered. What's going on? The Traconic Quest desperately threw up his heads. Sweetheart, I, I can explain. Did you cast a spell on me? He bit his lip. Um, maybe a little. She flew into his eyes. I trusted you. I thought you were my friend. I am your friend. Yet you broke your promise, she gestured towards the mess that he created. You said you wouldn't do this anymore. Technically, I didn't break any promise. I said that I would confine my magic through the bounds of property that both abound me. And oh, would you look at that. You're in that proper property right now. But you can't cast a spell on me, she shouted angrily. I can't believe you tried to trick me into loving you. Well, it didn't work, obviously. I mean, how did you... You broke my spell without magic? He then shook her with admiration. For some reason, that makes me even more attracted to you. He moved his claw to her face, only to have it slapped away. Seriously? After tricking me and what you did to my friends? I st you still expect me to like you? She shook his head. I was right all along. You are a monster. The last word pierced his heart like a sword. Darling, please. She crossed her hooves and turned away from him. Do not call me that. At that moment, something inside the Draconic Quest snapped and gritted his teeth as Pegasus. So I'm the monster, eh? He growled. So be it then. You still are mine. Fluttershy then screamed and uh, as a rope rapidly snaked around her body, tying her to the chair. As the chair flew into the corner of the opposite of Rainbow Dash, Fluttershy, everyone crawled. Discord, let me go, the yellow pegasus demanded, attempting to struggle free out of the rope. The Traconoquist cackled darkly, running a finger around her chin. So sorry to have to do this, my dear, but as you said, you will have no say in the matter. And he recoiled as a piece of wood hit him on the back of the head. It was the leg of the stool that trapped Rainbow Dash, who was now hoovering above him and stood still stuck in her rear. The leg, however, had been thrown off, thrown by Applejack. You get away from here, you environment! Discord rolled his eyes. Do you mind? I'm in the middle of a conversation here. He snapped the fingers, transforming Applejack into a giant box of actual Applejacks. And the Apple Bloom shrieked. That does it! Pick it out of my friends and take in my cutie mark is one thing, but no one, I repeat, no one touches my sister! Discord only yawned and snapped his fingers again. Then suddenly, Sweetie Belle and Scootaloo are back to their normal selves, but tied up with Apple Bloom. Hey, what gives? Scootaloo demanded. Oh, Fluttershy, the Draconic Quest said in the sing song voice. How do free kids sound to you? You're crazy, Apple Bloom shouted. Oh, shut up. He zipped one of their mouths closed. You beast! Rarity char cried, charging towards him. With the snap of his fingers, the unicorn's hair turned green. And the mirror appeared right in front of her so she could see. Ah! She screamed. Not again. Hey, Pinky cried, finally pushing away from the Rock'em then game. You leave her alone. In a flash, Pinky got a hairdo as well. Her con candy the colored hair was now actual con candy. She yelped at first and then chewed on a piece. Mmm, she said. Pinky, stop eating your own hair. Make help me take this punk down, Rainbow commanded, darting her eyes on Discord. I thought you oppressed your jerk into cider. With another snap, his fingers caused the cider to dump on her head. 
Then with a laugh, Discord stuffed her into a cider mug. Discord, stop it, Flourish pleaded. What? Why are you doing this? Is it obvious, my dear? He smirked, lowering his head towards her. I'm teaching those ponies a lesson on what happens when they mess the Lord of Chaos. Then he reached out his claw and caressed her face, only to have her jerk her head away. Then what do you want from me? She demanded, her eyes tearing up. You, he whispered slowly. I want you to be my queen of chaos. No, and never. Have it your way, then. He got for the remaining ponies and spiked into the wrestling ring. Free walls rising above them, and Discord teleported himself and flourished over to the group of the walls and started closing in on them. The Rainbow Dash was still stuck in the mug, and Twilight's rings were still paper, making it possible for them to escape. Flourish, I could not take it anymore. No, please stop. Don't hurt them. Ow! She hanged her head. I'll do anything. Discord cupped at his ear. What's that? Didn't hear you over the screaming ponies. I'll do anything, she shouted. He gave her a side grin. Anything? She breathed. It's me you want. Leave him out of it. No, Fluttershy, Twilight called. Don't do it. It's the only way, Twilight. She turned back to the Draconic Quest. I'll marry you. I'll be your wife, your queen, and I'll never resist you again. I'll do whatever you want, and I won't fight against it. Everything will be exactly the way you want it. If you just spare them, please cross my heart and hope to fly. Stick a cupcake in my eye. No, Pinky cried. Not the Pinky promise. Please just leave him alone. Discord stared at her, searching back for the sign of trickery, but found none. He chuckled throatly. That's better. He had snapped his fingers, stopping the walls from moving and undoing the rope. Although, he said, stroking his beard, I need some sort of proof that you will hold your word. How am I? Fluttershy started to say. But he stopped her as he lifted her chin. How about another kiss? Another kiss? Rainbow exclaimed. And the yellow pegasus was frozen in place that would have fallen as Discord wrapped his arms around her. I, in front of... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, he wiggled his lips at her. You said you wouldn't resist. In defeat, she closed her eyes and leaned in towards her. Down below, the ponies were trying to free Rainbow Dash. Twilight and Rarity pulling on the mug and Pinky pulling the pegasus and his, his head. Just as Discord's lips were inches away from Fluttershy's mug came off with a prop and of course was causing Rainbow Dash to land on Pinky and she quickly recovered and darted towards upwards. Don't you dare touch her, she shouted. Discord moved away from his prize and narrowed at Rainbow Dash. You know I could have just had about enough of your middlesome ponies. He then raised his glowing claw, ready to strike. Flesh I gasped. Rainbow, Discord, don't! But neither of them stopped what they were doing. Promise or no promise, she could not let her best friend get hurt. Without a second, she pushed Rainbow Dash out of the way, Discord's blow, and Flush had cried out as she was being thrown across the room and smashed against the wall. Discord gasped as he saw who he struck. Oh, no, 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 he muttered. He then rushed over to his beloved and slid. she slid to the floor. Flush, are you? He trailed off and her, she heard a sob. Oh, darn, please, no. He kneeled down to her. Don't, please don't cry, Flush, please. Flush, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to. She then moved her hooves away from her, revealing her big teared eyes and the look she gave him. His look was filled with much fear and horror, like it killed him. Flush, I don't look at me in that way. He then reached his paw towards her. She flinched and hit her face again, curling up into a shivering ball, but looked as it gave him still and lingered. And then he gazed down at, his, at her and then at his hands. What have I done? He said under his breath. His anger had driven him so far that he had hurt the one he ever loved. After swearing otherwise, he knew that look with that what gave her done was unforgivable. She would never have loved him now. Even if she did marry him, she would never look at him the same way, nor smile at him again, and that would be miserable for the rest of their days. He looked at his beloved flesh and burst into tears. She burst into tears. She wanted her more than anything in the world, but not like this. Discord then turned away and hung his head and eliminated from his chest, restoring the ponies back to their normal selves and releasing them from their prisoners. The free fillies were rushing to embrace of their sisters. Fluttershy looked up at her hooves in surprise and confused. The Draconic Quest walked away sadly to the farthest corner of the room and then sat down. Get out, he grunted. The ponies did not argue and raced out. Fluttershy rose cautiously and approached Discord. That includes you. She then stopped in her tracks. What? She then looked at their chain and ring vanished from her neck. I release you, he said, without turning around. You're no longer bound to me. Discord, flesh, I was more, more confused. Are you letting me go? Yes. Now go, before I change my mind. But Discord, I, are you deaf? He bellowed, whirling his head around angry. I said go! 
She squeaked as seeing Applejack waiting for her, and the blasted castle had returned to the ground and the force field had diminished, making it easy for them to all leave. As she, before she crossed the bridge, she remembered her animals went, went back for them, and she told them to explain everything later, but they had to leave now. Once they were on the verge of the side of the gorge, Fluttershy looked back at her castle and had her head told her to run as far away from the place as possible, but her heart compelled her to stay. Fluttershy, come on! Twilight shouted from her head. I'm coming, Flourish I called back. She glanced at the castle one last time and then went back to her friends. She did not see the Draconoquest in the tower in the window. Discord watched her go until she was out of sight. He buried his face in his hands. The zebra's words made sense now. She could not keep he could not keep her locked inside the castle forever. He loved her too much, and that's why he had to let her go. He was such a fool to believe that she would ever be could ever be happy for him. Who? could ever love a monster.